shall we go off to the land of gnomes and fairies? And from the Ashouf Brewery in the Ardennes, we have a bottle of their Mukshouf coming in at 8% ABV. I can't, can't believe I haven't actually reviewed it, this one, yet. Um, I've had it, but I've never reviewed it. So let's go back in time to the story of the, um, the Ashouf Brewery, or Brasserie Ashouf, as it's known. Okay. Um, it starts in the late 70s. Um, down in the Ardennes, they call it the Valley of the Fairies. Um, uh, two brother-in-laws, um, Pierre Gobron and Chris um, Burretz, I think that's how I spelt it, um, said it right. Um, it's a bit, a bit hard to pronounce these sort of names. It's uh, ba ba uh, Barretz, Barretz, something like that anyway. Um, and I actually started um, in a garage belonging to... Um, Chris's mother-in-law and their first brew was actually uh, 49 litres back in sort of uh, August 1982 and then the hobby their hobby after four years um, they went full-time and it became a success so it's been like a great little story for them to be honest um, from going strength to strength and they've got a cracking brewery down in the Ardennes now it's just just north of Bastogne if you're ever in that region Bastogne you can go up the road and there they are got a fantastic little brewery there got a lovely lake and everything it's, it's absolutely fantastic so let's let's crack open this McShoof get it in the glass the proper shoof glass absolutely fantastic the glasses um you know normal shoof is one of you know i really do like normal shoof i love the christmas edition as well nice and shoof now these are a good solid beers and you get a good pour on them and a big head always get a big head on a shoof there we go look at that there's my perfect pour of a mcshoof okay if you're not pouring this beer and it's not looking similar to something like this and then you've poured it wrong at the end of the day so first impressions it's it's a reddish brown colour because if you look through here I can see the light it's a reddish brown colour okay a lovely three and a half finger off white type foam head let's get the aromas <sighs> fruity spicy with a bit of anise aniseed there A bit of caramel as well. The fruitiness, I'm actually getting some pear there, to be honest. I definitely need some aniseed and some licorice there. Which you can expect with a dark um, beer like this from, from Belgium. It's going to have some drop licorice in it. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Oh. Oh. It tastes like the aroma. Dark, caramel malt. There is this sort of fruity, caramelised pear taste to it. And you're getting this aniseed and the drop licorice. You know, bundles of drop licorice on the back end of this, this beer. It's a cold winter's day in the UK. What a perfect beer. What a perfect beer to have on a cold winter's day. This is has all the wintry flavours that make a lovely beer. And boy, is this a good beer. Oh. 
I've only ever had this beer once before. I should have it more. I should definitely have this boy beer this beer more. Especially in the winter. I think on these cold nights and that this is definitely a beer I need to I need to get more in stock and have more of. It's a perfect winter. Easy drinking. Don't feel like you're drinking 8% beer. Feels like about 5% to be honest. It's an easy drinking beer, very, very quaffable. And it's just got these lovely caramel malts, sort of caramel banana. And then you've got this aniseed and drop licorice on the back end, which just, you know, just screams out winter, doesn't it? There's a bit of spiciness from there, in there as well. Um, sort of aniseed there's a bit of probably a bit of coriander spice in here it's just a good solid beer it's simple but brewed with love and brewed to, you know by experts It's quite carbonated as well, believe it or not. It's quite a gassy beer. So this is a beer, you know, you're going to sip and probably swirl it like I am now to try and knock a bit of gas out of the glass. You know, look at that head retention. That's what you call a quality beer when this head retains like it does. Look, that head hasn't disappeared whatsoever. It's there all the way, all the way through this lovely beer. Tell you what, I just wish I had some some cheese to go with this. Now this would it just lend itself perfectly to some good cheese. Sit there on a, a cold winter's night. There's some crackers, some cheese, maybe some salami, and drink a couple of bottles of this. And you know, how does life get any better? I don't think so. I don't think so personally. So I know um, I've been asked to do this as well. This beer by um, uh, a subscriber, you might know him on the lives that Mark Veganism. Mark Veganism is very keen on me to, to um, review this beer. So Mark, I listen to you. I listen to my subscribers and I react um, all the time. You know, if you, if you want a beer review, just mention it. And if I can get hold of the beer, I'll review it for you. No problem whatsoever. So look, I think when I pick this up, I think I picked it up from the House of Trembling Madness, to be honest. Um, so go on there, pick yourself up a bottle, try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. Leave me, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this beer. What? Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new, new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.